What's up everybody, it's your boy Terrell. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. Now, I know, what is you doing in this camera? <laughs> I'm working it. Mary hits my name. We are back again with Danny, AKA Stovetop Kisses. Yeah. Damn, bitch. Girl, I'm still thinking and dreaming and wishing for that damn chicken. <laughs> that chicken, you still think, I dream about that Have chicken. Have you made it? Hell no. <laughs> now I know the Terrell show has been on a bit of a hiatus. It okay? has. <laughs> and I wanna know what's really going on. I can't you guys, tell people you. people out here in the YouTube Socked Up community, we want to know a part of the IG Koji congregation and YouTube, what is really going on? I will put one rumor to bed. Okay. I am not vacationing, okay? okay? I actually haven't had a day off since the end of season two. Okay. So okay. I have been working on something very special. You've been working on somebody Man. working you. Okay. I know what it is. I know what to do, I know what to do. I'm gonna tell you in your ear what I've been doing, okay? okay? So you. you can. Wait, be caught up, get okay? Myself but you together. can't say nothing out loud because I, I, it's a secret. They don't know yet. Okay, it comes out January thirty first. I can see. All right. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. What happened? What? Really? I didn't finish telling you. Okay. <laughs> I know. I'm so excited. Oh, oh thank you. That is going to be so good. I know. It's I'm such so a. Proud of it's you. Oh, thanks. That's going to be so good. I know. I'm so excited. Like, so, I'm shaking right now thinking about it. Hold on, pause yes. for the call. Okay. <laughs> I'm already sweating because. Every time I think about the project, I just get nervous. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm so excited, but I'm just nervous about it. Mm -mm, so can we, we please cook something so I can be fed and my God nerves go away? God has not given you the spirit of fear. Hey! Huh. No, he has not. But of what? A sound mind! Ah! I actually fell. <laughs> I got us these aprons, y'all. Yes, talk about Off it. Off the Amazon. And this is what they send up. But it didn't look like this on the picture. And they came. I don't know who I look like right now. I think they gave us the little puppy dog aprons or the toddler aprons. But we decided that we was going to make we it gonna work. We're going to wear them anyway. We're going to make it work. Shit, she work. paid for it. So I might as well put it on. The gesture was real nice. It was. And Rail got these cute little bells on there. OK? You jingle his bells. You hear him ring them right. <laughs> OK? <laughs> You're gonna get my ass in trouble. We are gonna be making brown Come butter on. peach boozy peach cobbler pancakes. So we're gonna uh. brown the butter and then we're gonna make some pancakes. And then we're gonna also make a cute little uh naughty Mrs. Claus cocktail. Ooh, let's do that first. Let's do that. Let's do that okay. first. So I'm gonna open this. I got the cheap, this the cheap shit, cause you know I'm The yeah. cheap stuff gets you drunk I'm though. Cheap. It gets you late. No surprise to nobody. They cheap out there too. We're gonna be showing them a cute little uh, mimosa to make on Christmas morning when you're opening up your gifts and you're stealing your PJs and your onesies, okay? You're gonna put a cotton candy in my drink. Yeah, Hello. it's gonna be cute. Yeah, and we that's... can get it open. Oh, my God. <clears throat> oh okay. Yes. Well, that ain't how you do it? We got the cotton candy yes, looking like snow. we got snow. the cotton candy. Mm -hmm. So what we're gonna do first is you're gonna add uh, your brown liquor, okay? Your melanin liquor in there, cause you know, it's gonna keep you nice and warm. Yes. You know I love my brown. I know you do, baby. That's yeah. why we got it. Uh -huh. You had a hard day? I had a real hard day. Go on ahead. Don't tell me. This don't go okay. fast. Well, let me this do this first. Right. Hold on, I'm gonna do this first. Let me okay. do that there. Okay. I'm just gonna drink this part, okay? All right. Yes. Now what you really want me to do. You know, it's all about having Christmas communion. We celebrating Jesus' birthday. Now what you really want me to do. All right, right there. Oh, I'm about I'll to say. I'll just do a little bit of sparkling wine, because okay. you know I'm saved. This ain't sparkling. <laughs> Shut. Daddy, get, get out of here. <laughs> all right. And now you get you a little bit more. OK, can I mix this? Yeah. Oh, and we going to right there. Oh, up oh, some more. OK. You want to feel it till it's about 3 fourths. 
Mm. Okay? Then we're gonna make it red with a little bit of grenadine. I love grenadine. I love you. And I if you, love I, grenadine. I love grenadine. If you wanna make a festive beer, you can add it yeah. to your beer, like your Coronas and stuff like that. It yes. changes the color of things. Ooh. And then you just add jingle a little bell, bit jingle of bell, grenadine. Jingle. Jingle. Hey, it's Jesus' birthday. Yes. Oh, Go, Jesus. Back too. Thank you, Father. It's your birthday. We gon' party like it's your birthday. We gon' drop it low like it's your birthday. And then we gon' bring it up because you're worthy. Go, Jesus. <laughs> Ain't he all right? <laughs> so then you take yes. your cotton candy and you just put it on top just Is like that. that. Yeah, you put it on top just like that oh, and just sit God. it on top. Uh -huh. And then okay. you can just serve it to your guests like That's this. That's cute, so Danny. So when you're about to drink it, yes. You just does it drop in? It just drops oh, in. that. Let us know. Let us know. Let us know. And then cheers. There we go. See, that's so cute. Mm. I feel really. And it's good because it's strawberry. I ain't never mix nothing in my brown. <laughs> I don't mix, do I mix my browns? No, he doesn't. I, don't I know nothing you in don't. My browns. I don't like nothing. I like everything straight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but. We know what you mean. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 uh, yeah. <laughs> but it's good. Yeah. So, we're going to make some pancakes now. True. Yes. Mm. Yes, pancakes. <laughs> yes. So, we're going to be using store bought pancake mix because, baby, ain't nobody got time for all that other stuff, okay, baby? We just cook for the holidays. Plus, we just want to get food on the table because you want to open up your gifts and then drink and go see mama and them and everybody else, okay? Right. So, we're just doing store bought pancake mix, your favorite brand that you like to use, okay? They normally tell you to add water or if you're using, like, the other brands, sometimes they will tell you to add milk mm -hmm. and egg. Yeah. Or if you just want to do an add water, whatever you want to do, that's what we're going to do. What so, was this? Was this just an add water? This is just an add water, but I but like to add milk. milk. Now, see why you're doing that. Educate these people. I like to do that because that's what I like to do. Okay. <laughs> How much milk you putting in here, girl? Till I tell you stop. Okay. Okay. So uh, just <laughs> not till I tell you stop. Do it to the uh, you know, follow the pancake instructions. Right. The box. Okay. Okay. But you just are the pancake instructions. So okay. here we go. I'm just gonna pour. All right. Now uh -huh. if you like my mama like little thin pancakes, yeah. You just make your batter thin. Uh -huh. But if you don't like thin pancakes, you just make your batter kind of in between right. thick and thin. Okay. But if you want too much, am I still going? Let me see. Okay. Yeah, keep on going. Keep on going. Here's a trick too. What's the trick? So all you people out there, if you don't see buttermilk, because I know down here in LA they just trifling, they don't see a whole fat buttermilk. Mm -hmm. What you can do is take uh to every one cup of regular milk, mm -hmm. add one tablespoon of vinegar, let it sit for five minutes, and you'll have buttermilk. Won't he do it? Ain't he all right? The tricks of the trade. You know what I mean? Yes. Two fish and five loaves of bread, five yes. thousand souls he fed. Then he also showed us how to make butter milk out of regular milk. Thank God for Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, you stir that on okay, up. I'm stir this on up. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Just like that. Yeah. In the kitchen whip, strip it like a stir fry. Uh, in the kitchen whip, strip it like a stir fry. I go, Jesus, it's your birthday. I go, Jesus, it's your birthday. Hey, sleigh bells ring. Are you listening? Oh, in the lane, snow is listening. Walking in over the lane. Hey. Oh, here's a good tip, too. To make your pancakes light and fluffy, if you use a store bought, of course, or mm. any, if you're making it from scratch too, you always want to let it sit to the side, let it aerate a little bit because it's going to make the pancakes nice and fluffy. If you use this mix right now, it's going to be a little tough as Joe's toenails. They ain't going to be sopped up. Who is Joe? I really don't know because my mama. <laughs> so over medium high heat, we yes. got this pot. Uh oh. Careful. See, see what I'm saying? Careful, careful. When we decide, we just, our butter just come right on out. See what I'm saying? And then you drop down and put those on right there, just like that. Oh, two? Oh, my God. We're going to do Ooh, all we three. Are southern. Three sticks of butter. Yep. Three? That's what I said. We're doing three. Oh, she you is making none of these southern, southern flapjacks. Southern flapjacks. Look, look how, look, real. That bourbon is strong. <laughs> I'm what? I'm having a great time. <laughs> so now we want to brown the butter, y'all. You're yes. gonna brown the butter. And this is gonna kind of take out a lot of the uh, dairy of the butter. It's gonna calm down, calm down, because she is mm. foaming up everywhere right. right now. It's gonna calm down. It's gonna get those bits of brown pieces in. It. It's gonna smell almost like caramel. Ooh. Okay, it's gonna be really rich, and it's gonna make the peach cobbler 
Because oh, we're making instant you peach cobbler on the stove. You stay touching these pots with your bare hands. I do. I touch a lot. Where's the pot handlers? We don't need the pot handlers. I, you got, I got pot handlers. Look, use this rag. Oh, OK, I can use a rag. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm, That's what so we want. Water. So as you can see, it's going to start turning. And that was fast, wasn't it? Now we got to pour our peaches in. Mm -hmm. Don't be alarmed. It's all right. It's OK. We're adding brown sugar. Yep. We added some white sugar. Yep. Um, all the sugars. We all added lots of sugar, sugar. In there and lots of butter. Butter, peaches, sugar, yes. brown sugar. And we're gonna add in our cinnamon. cinnamon? Okay, yeah. you tell me when to stop. Okay, and then I we're just cinnamon. gonna let these cook too because I don't like the peaches to be bright, bright. Like they still kind of sometimes have like a little bitterness. Right. Sometimes if you eat it's them too much. right out the. Oh, it's just the taste, however cinnamon you want it, but I want I a little like bit more up in there. Yeah. Cinnamon. Cinnamon smell like the cinnamon. Put it in there. So we're just gonna bring this to a boil. Yes. And then once that kind of cooks how we want it to look, then we're gonna take our pie crust here. Now we've got some pre-baked pie crust that Roxy found for us. Praise the Lord. Thank God in the California stores. Oh, oh cause you know they don't sell bread nowhere here. And it is not gluten free. <laughs> we just pop these in the oven. For typically, I like to cook them for about five minutes, but we forgot the oven was on because we was in here talking and everything, and then we just put them out. But they still look they pretty. They look amazing. Yeah. So yes. we're just gonna take these and we're gonna crumble them up with our hands and put them into. Oh, so it's not gonna stay a pie crust. No, it's not gonna stay a pie crust. This is gonna be a stovetop peach coat. This is gonna be a stovetop <laughs> peach, peach cobbler. cobbler. What? is on your agenda for the holidays. What do you do? So for the holidays, yes. I'm going to do um, something. And you know what that is? What? Uh, nothing. <laughs> doing nothing is actually doing something out there. People I need feel to know you on that. that. Doing nothing, ha! It's doing something. Yes, Lift your is. hands and receive it. I receive that You know, because when somebody call you and they it's say- It's my favorite thing to do. What you doing Ain't today? It. Yeah, people be like, what you doing today? Nothing. Nothing. What well, can you? No. no I'm, I'm doing, doing nothing. nothing. That's a thing. Huh? That's why they put thing on the end of no. Oh. Huh? That's why they did that. Come on. It's a thing. <laughs> now we are going to add in our salt, because you need to season it. OK, how I much salt you want? I tell people all the time, when you're doing sweet stuff, make sure you add a little bit of salt, because it does make a difference. It brings mm. out the flavor. Yeah. And the Bible tells us we are the salt of the earth. earth. It's baby Jesus' birthday. We gotta uh, just celebrate him on today. Uh, <laughs> so I'm gonna put a little bit up on a bow. Wait, wait, wait. That much right there? Yeah. Okay, can y'all see that? that in there. Promise you. And we're using kosher salt because we're kosher. And we gotta put a little bit of vanilla. Ooh, how much? How much you want to let the spirit lead you. A, Cooking it, is about. It let me do that much. Okay. Now, what we want to do mm -hmm. is add our thickener. Now, we're going to add in our. I got the juice that's left over from the peaches here. Oh, smart. You yeah. kept that. You saved her. I did save her because she's sweet. And right. then, normally with a thickener, you would add water and cornstarch. But baby, that won't be stopped up. That's going to dilute it. Okay, yes. we need everything to stick. Right. Okay, so we use the peach juice, and mm. then we're going to add a little bit of cornstarch to that. Oh. And just let, just let the spirit lead you. The yes. recipe, yeah, we'll have that for you. Yeah. All right. And then we just, okay, yeah, about that much. That's enough, okay. You want to stir add, that? Pour that down in there, real. Okay, so All let's pour right. it in. Yep, pour it on in there. Mm. It's going to thicken up nicely. Now we're going to have yeah. a good old happy holiday. Hey. It wasn't a boozy uh, pan of brunch unless we add in our whiskey. So we're gonna add a little bit of bourbon in there, thanks to Roxy. How much, how Thank much, you. How much bourbon? Let the spirit lead you. Let, let, don't tell me. Let that. Jesus lead you. He leads you, you to the rock. Let, uh, that's the liquor rock. You, well, I grew up in Baptist Church. That's, this is his, we celebrate his birthday. Come on. Let Jesus lead. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> That's where he led me. <laughs> 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 
That's what he let <laughs> Okay, what's next? Good thing about alcohol is that this is still on the heat. If you leave the yes. if you leave it on the heat, the alcohol will cook out. That's why you keep smelling over oh, that cameraman. Well, if leave you leave it, it on long. the heat, it will cook out. However, if you want to make this a real drunk peach cobbler, uh, take it off the mm. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here. Now, if you want it to be boozy boozy, you would take it off the heat, then remove your alcohol and then add your alcohol. That way you can really, really taste it and right. then it can be really, really right, but concentrated. If it's for the kids. But if it's for the kids, it's yeah. just gonna cook out and you just have the flavor of the alcohol. Right. So now we're gonna take your pie crust What's and we're gonna do? crumble it up. Now we're gonna add the pie crust. Crumble it up? Like yeah. how? Just oh, like just take it and just, oh, just like, okay, yeah. like that? Yep, and we just throw oh. it, drop it in there. Oh, like that, right Yep, there? just mm. like that. And like you have a peach cobbler, because I feel like with peach cobbler, the crust is it's the important. best part. It's so good, It's girl. the best part. I look, look forward look, to that. Look, just lift it on up. It do need a little bit more cinnamon. This right. that damn organic shit. You, that shit to be so damn weak. Put that to the side. Uh huh. You gotta put your butter down. How much butter so get here? You, right oh. there. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The mistake that people make is they have their pan too high or they have it too low. Right. If it's too high, then it cooks the pan. It burns the bottom of the pancake, but then you flip it over and then it burns the other side. Right. So we're on medium heat here. Medium low heat. Uh huh. Uh, digital number three. On out of the stove. 10, out of 9. Out of 9. 3 out of 9. Mm -hmm. If you're on a gas stove, you want to do low, medium heat. Mm -hmm. Just to be on the safe side, because a lot of people, like you said, you don't like cooking pancakes because like you mess it up. Yeah. But today, the devil is a lie. Uh -huh. So we put that down. Mm -hmm. Now, you can use some pan spray if you want to, if you want like McDonald's flapjack looking pancakes. Use the pan. But if you want to get a little crust on the edges and make them socked up, yes. Hallelujah. Then you got to have the butter on there and let it get nice and brown. Aha. Uh -huh. mm, mm, in there mm, just mm, like mm, that. Mm. And then those bubbles there. Yes. Okay. That's what you want to look for, Ray. Uh-huh. Before you flip your pancakes over. Okay. So you want to have those little bitty pimples in the pancake. Right. This pancake got acne. You want to just need like look like it need proactive. Everywhere. Oh, why are you so good at that? <laughs> oh, I'm angry about no, it. Listen, you're gonna do it. So we flipped it over. Who wanna do what? Yes, we're gonna do I told you, you would never, never be defeated. I cannot flip no pancake. Yes, you can. Don't I say can't you can't. flip a pancake. Let me I've tell you something. You are one please. of the greatest people I know. Oh. And you got one of the best things going for you. And you mean to tell me that you're going to let something that has no power, it's lifeless. Huh? Listen, God gives us Come individual in gifts, OK? That's your amount of time. Such a good pancake. Oh, Jesus. Wow. <laughs> Jiminy Cricket. Now all of the pancakes are made. Yes. They look beautiful. They do. Okay. So what's next? We're going to plate this now up. Now we're going to plate this up. All, all right. right. So what I like to do to make sure we got everything <laughs> socked, socked up. up. Yes. Okay. We're going to take do? this peach cobbler feeling here. Uh -huh. We're going to put it Ooh. down Ooh. on the plate. Ooh. Then we're going to sit our pancakes <laughs> Thank you, Chief. Then what we're gonna do, we like to put it in there. I want feeling from edge to edge. Period. Okay? Oh, in there. Yes, put that feeling Jesus socked up. Lovely. Then we're gonna take another pancake and we're gonna put it on top. Yeah. Now we've already buttered the pancakes in between, so after each pancake get off of the skillet, out of the skillet, you wanna put the butter on top of That's what we did. That's what we did. We did do that. And now, so I think we can go Yes. Girl, you're going to give somebody a heart attack. <laughs> wow. Christmas morning. Christmas morning. Might be last Christmas you see. <laughs> Jesus. You only live once, real? Yeah, eating with you. <laughs> God damn. Dream on day. Wow. And you want to get pretty and put some on oh, the plate. Oh, wow. Like that right there. Like that right there. Put I, a little I bit. I cannot be bothered. Dust it with a little bit more cinnamon. <laughs> I don't like you. I don't like you at all. Got some 
to thank God for. Mm. Mm. I this see is really it. good. Good, yeah. This is really good. <laughs> this is really good. Oh my God, I literally can't even right now. Mmm. Mmm. It tastes like liquor. Really. Easy. Go ahead and get that damn book, cookbook. Go on over there to get it. And and don't tell nobody my secret. I'm not going to tell you. Okay? It's a great secret. A lady never kiss and tell. You better kiss and tell my secret. I don't, I won't. why I've been on hiatus for two months and a, and a month more. But I will say to everybody out there, this is the hardest working man I know in show oh business. Oh, my God. And it's going to be worth the wait. Thank you. I love you. And I ain't going to say nothing else, because see. <laughs> I love you. It's so good. Thank you so much. Oh, hey, y'all. It is Danny Rose, also known as Stove Top Kisses. Thank you guys so much for watching The Terrell Show. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And head on over to StoveTopKisses.com so you can go and get socked up for Christmas. And